Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Doinkus McRadis, and these are the top five things I cannot live without. <laughs> All right. How many times do you guys get this one? Yeah, that's what I thought. You know I gotta keep this on me to text all the ladies, including the most important lady of all, my mom. <laughs> all right. All right, number four might be a bit of an oddball, but it's actually carpet cleaner. What? Carpet cleaner? <laughs> yeah, I know. Listen, if I'm gonna take my shoes off in your house, then your floors better be clean. I'm not going home with dirty socks. <laughs> Just wash your socks. Oh, I don't wash socks. I wear them out and buy new ones. I do that like 12 times every week. You just throw socks away after one use. Yeah. That's a surplus of socks. No, that's a sur minus of socks. Because if I'm wearing 12 socks a week and there's seven days in the week with two feet, that's 14 feet, but only 12 socks. So sometimes I go barefoot. All right, number three is my cat. He's way too big. Well, yeah, he folds up like a chair. He's gonna suffocate. No, listen, the cat can like shrink its bones and stuff. It like compresses the air out of itself. Look, like it can compress air like clothes in a suitcase. Next up is the scepter of arcane truth. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without this. I got this after a major battle with Uthgar, the primordial mountain sage. <laughs> Looks like it's running out of juice. It requires a blood sacrifice of the innocent, so sometimes I have to pass by a little kid on the street and then poke him with Ow. a needle just to get a little bit of blood out of him. It wouldn't happen to be bring your kid to work day, would it? Something else that I gotta keep with me at all times is a brush for these luscious locks, because my hair has gotta look good at all times! <laughs> yeah. All right, well, Doinkus, thank you for your- And of course, I gotta keep my laptop with me as well. You're only supposed to choose five items. Oh, I'm sorry. I fucking thought it was my time. Yeah, so I keep this plastic cup on me because I heard that microplastic gets in your balls now. And I want to be the first guy that has a fully synthetic child. So here's a plant that's 95% dead, but I love the beauty of like death surrounding it. I think that's beautiful. Also, it's growing mold. I just have this orb of water that just started following me one day and I couldn't get rid this of it. This love mic, actually. This is mine. I like to tell my secrets to it too like hold on still haven't gotten over victoria from seventh grade algebra class <laughs> you didn't hear that right this is like a togepi pokemon card it's all in japanese i don't know what the fuck it says i think it's worth like maybe two dollars i keep this nintendo ds copy of club penguin herbert i've Revenge. always got to keep my tax returns from the year 2002 this always comes up and it's always a problem check this out i got a jaw heart here's a thermometer for my cat's asshole in my mouth, we share it. Hey, check out this hand statue I got one time. Ha! <laughs> Fucking got it! I got this JPEG of Redis Mae Colon from Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2. I was moving out of my house one time and she was just behind a cabinet. I don't know what it means, but I keep her around. And of course, I keep the aura of the stars with me. The mystery they maintain. The sense of adventure they share with me. A being made of dust they transported here. To this moment. As if by way of their journey through space, they manipulated time to bring me here, to bring us here, all together, to use their powers to get us all to communicate. Through the lights they give us, with the stardust we are made of, that is what I keep with me at all times. And finally, a box of cream of wheat. <laughs> all right. Uh. Shit. 